Hello, it's Bowlax here, and welcome back to more Super Mario 64 The Missing Stars. In the last episode, we finished up the undergrounds, and in this episode, we're gonna go inside the volcano. And unlike the other courses in this game, this um, course actually has a full six stars, a hundred coin star, and a menu. So, yes, the first uh, one is volcano climbing. And basically in this one, we have to go to the uh, volcano. And basically this is just a uh, different version of Lethal Lava Land. It's nothing more than that. And something I might need to tell you about um, is this is the hardest and longest course in the game. So it might take a bit. Now, right here, we could do the, uh, wall, uh, the slide kick, ju uh, glitch up there, which is basically, um, if you don't know, when you go on a slope and hold down A and tap the B button, you can go up the slope, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna show you the actual way because, uh, yes, it is more, uh, for anyone who couldn't pull that off or whatever, they need to see the actual way. So yeah, I might actually get a game over in this level since uh, I did lose one life like right at the beginning of the episode, so yeah. I usually don't die there, but yeah, it's just a little weird. And I always like um, Leafa Lava Land even in Super Mario 64 in this level because I think the lava thing's really unique. Like you don't die instantly in lava, you only like get hurt like a lot and then get an extra jump boost which could be beneficial or um not because you could actually use your lava to the lava to your, your advantage if you know exactly where to burn your butt so yeah i always like lethal lava land in this level for that reason anyways we have a mr eye up here i think this is like the only time they ever appear in the strong hack so we took him out and you get five points for that and then you can jump into this volcano and we can get the first star so yep, this episode might be a bit long. As I said, this is the longest course in the game. It actually might uh, be split up into two parts if this takes over half an hour. If this takes half an hour or more, I will split it into two episodes because uh, I don't like my episodes to be that long. So don't be surprised if it says uh, Volcano Part 1 out of 2 or something like that. Anyways, in this mission right here, we have to, instead of going on those platforms that rise up and down we have to continue on and follow the arrows on the arrow like platforms i don't even know what these platforms are from in super mario 64 actually i don't remember seeing them anywhere but you know whatever uh maybe they're custom made or something i have no idea anyways right here we just go across here and uh, there's a lot of coins in this level so don't be too butt hurt if you hurt your butt in the lava. Haha, <laughs> I made a little joke there. Nobody's laughing. <laughs> Anyways, uh, because there's a ton of coins. The reason there's a ton of coins is because there's actually quite a small course. Because the courses in this game are, are smaller than Super Mario 64. Um, as you can obviously tell by this let's play so far. So, uh, and since there's a hundred coin mission in this course they need to put a lot of coins down so yeah and maybe you could even make the uh lava really really beneficial to you in that way because then you can go certain places then you can heal so you can lava jump to other places and stuff anyways there's a red coin right at the beginning and there's a red coin in here sure yep you always want to be careful from going out of this volcano because you can uh, hit lava instead of the platform because that platform is tilted. See, so, yes. And I kind of like playing this ROM hack um, because I do have a Super Mario 64 ROM hack that I am working on, but it's only like a side project. I only like work on it like for a month and then maybe have like a five month break or something. I'm really bad with updating it and working on it. But, um,. A lot of things that are done here, I know how to do, so it's like really cool to see them. Like I know how to slant that platform, and I know what that platform is from. That platform is from the spinning platform around the uh, that goes like a. Oh, I think in the first mission of Lethal Lava Land, you have to go to the big bully, right? The platform right before the platform with the big bully that ha that um is spinning. 
with that little nudge in the middle. That's what that platform is from, and then you just tilted it to the side and added a volcano instead of a little thing. So yeah, it's really nice to, from a ROM hacker's point of view to see this. But anyways, right over there, I do recommend burning your butt because I, um, to get the wing cap because I haven't found any other way to do it. And, uh, you get coins right after to heal you, so nothing wrong with it. And then I re also recommend getting the wing cap as early as possible, that's why I got it pretty early. Um, so you can go and fly over to all the uh, coins without having to do the annoying platforming. So, yes. Wow! Pixels off! Okay. So right here, the star up here. Uh, just flying over to a higher platform to fly over to that higher platform. Uh, I really like how they use the wing cap to get the red coins in this mission because the wing cap is just perfect for this area. It's just pure perfection because it's just so easy to fly around and it bypasses all the annoying platforming. It's so good. And it actually seems like I'm gonna do um, the whole area in this episode, which I'm actually really surprised because it took me like a long time to do these missions um, in practice. Which is probably why I practice. I knew I should have practiced. I usually don't practice on this let's play that much because I played it at this ROM hack so much. But for this level I did because I knew if I don't play it like if I don't record it within the next 24, if I don't play it again within the next 24 hours of previously playing it and failing, I'd start failing again, and I didn't want that to happen. If that made any sense. Anyways, right here's a lonesome star. It's pretty simple to get. I don't know why there's red coins again, even though this isn't a red coin mission. That doesn't happen in the original Mario 64, but you know, whatever. You can get the red car, um, the red coin star in the fourth mission if you wanted to. Even though you have to do the red coin mission to get the fourth mission. I have no idea why you do that, but yeah. Also, you probably noticed that there isn't like a number star of in this world. That's because there's already a menu. The only reason they put that in this hack is because there's no menu and you'd have no way of knowing how many, how um, far you progressed in the area. So this is a way. Um, so you can either get the wing cap or ride that um, floating pipe over there, that floating half pipe. I prefer to get the wing cap because it's a little bit more safe. -er. But yeah, all I have to do is just ground pound into this lonesome volcano and get the lonesome star. So next, we are going on to Pipe Dreams, which is basically just the same course except the second half of it have been changed to just a bunch of pipe platforming as you can see right there so yeah not too hard actually the hardest mission was probably the red coin mission which i did do with ease and maybe the second mission if you're really bad at the platforms because for some reason in practice i was failing at those platforms on the second star so the second and third star were really bad for me, especially the third star. I think it took like 15 minutes to even finish that. But right here, I'm already eight minutes into the video and I'm almost done the area, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Actually, I think uh, it took me a while to get the 100 coin star because you need to go into the third mission to get the 100 coin star. Never mind. <laughs> or maybe I did have trouble with the third one, then had trouble with the 100 coin. But I do remember having a lot of trouble with the 100 coin star. Anyways, right here there's a heart, so you can revive if you manage to get this far without getting hit by the lava too much. Which is always nice, because usually I do get hit by the lava quite a bit. Almost about to die when I get to this point, so I like that heart right there. And more pipes. I wonder where he got these pipes from too. I, d I don't know how to do that yet, because there isn't any legitimate place to find pipes in the game. What? At least it helped me out by making me die. Ah, oh, I had no idea what happened there. I think I got like stuck in between the pipes and glitched out like crazy. Yeah, there are a few glitches in the game because it isn't like a super, super, super good ROM hack. An example, probably like the best Super Mario 64 ROM hack out there and probably the most well known currently is a Super Mario Star Road. So if you're coming in this ROM hack expecting that, 
Don't expect it because this one's a much older ROM hack when there was much less resources to work with in ROM hacking and it isn't as long and big and the guy didn't have as much devotion I guess. It didn't take as long to make, you know, it was just a little project. It's just a little fun game. As I said, we're already over halfway through the game right now and we're only on episode 5 so I, I'm predicting this Let's Play is going to be less than 10 episodes. Which would be amazingly short, so yeah. Oh, so I am being quiet for a bit. I'm just trying to focus on the platforming. It is a bit tricky. I recommend just like going for it. Don't like wait too long because the platforms do sink. Oh, it's so hard to stay on these because they aren't flat ass platforms. They're like tilted and you can slide off at any moment. And they are small. Now he's an annoying log. From that annoying log mission, now we have to wait for this dumb mushroom to come down. Actually, someone in the Abandoned Shack episode, part 3, commented, uh, explaining how this mushroom could be interpreted as a boner to anyone who had a sick mind or, you, or lived by the rule 40, 34 or some crap like that. And I do not want to go into detail of that subject because there's a lot of stuff you could think about with dicks in that. But anyways, we have finished Pipe Dreams and now we are going into a ride with Dory. This is probably my favorite mission in the game just because it has Dory! Dory's so cute! <laughs> This whole place has been flooded with lava. There's only a, a few platforms. Oh, and uh, you are riding Dory. So yes, there are a few platforms you could go with with Dory. Uh, to with Dory, but I think the uh, recommended path. Well, the only path that I ever took that always works for me. I don't know if we could just go to the other platforms and do it from there. But I just go on these mushrooms because it's the first one you can see. I'm pretty sure the game designer wanted you to go on these mushrooms as well. So. And yes, I did see mushrooms. Those are my favorite animals in Minecraft, so. Or mobs, rather. But anyways, I died, so let me just try that again. That is the last mission in the game besides the 100 coins. I'm actually really surprised with my, uh, surprised with my progress. I was really sure that I could have, uh, that I would have um, split this into two episodes, making it, being it too long, but it's not. So I'm really proud of myself. I'm so good at video games, you know. Nope. I'm not gonna pride myself too much. Anyways, come on, Dory! You could swim! Swim faster! Dory seems, seems to swim slower in lava, actually. And how can this dino, like, even freaking survive lava? God. And then Dory's gone forever. That's the only place you ever need Dory. After this, it's just platforming and stuff. Nah. Oh my god! What? I made it! No. Oh, at least I didn't die. What? What? Come on! Oh my god. That platform's so unpredictable because if this game had like 3D, like not like, I know this game is in 3D, but I'm talking about like 3D like you see in a movie or on the 3DS, it'd be so much better because the depth perception on that is just, oh. That's something I don't like about 3D games, especially old 3D games. The depth perception is horrible. There's ways to, there was lots of ways to get around it, and the developer developers um found better ways to get around it in current gaming, like Xbox 360 and Wii and stuff. But when 3D gaming first started. Depth perception was a giant problem, along with cameras and multiple other things. You just have to get the right camera angle, then the depth perception is fine, but, uh, it's really hard. I guess because, um, the layout isn't used to the camera in this ROM hack is probably why, um, it's not as good. Anyways, right here we can go into a cannon, and we can brash off to... over here and get the star which will be the last star in this area besides the hundred coin so yes we're racking up on the star count 25 geez 
Whenever I play Mario games, like, I'm always surprised how freaking fast the shine counter, if you're playing, like, Sunshine, or the, uh, the star counter goes in Galaxy in 64. But anyways, uh, as you recall from the last episode, the Shy Guy said the best place to find the, uh, 100 coins is the third mission or the fourth mission. I prefer the third mission because it has also the red coins. So, I'm gonna go on this. Actually, the fourth mission also has the red coins. So, yeah, either, but I, I don't know. Just do whatever you want. They're both the exact same mission, pretty much, in structure. It's just different stars. Anyways, right here, I recommend just going into this volcano. I recommend getting all the eight red coins and then getting as much coins as you can along the way. That's pretty much the best advice I can give you. Right now, I'm trying to oh get out of a good place where I wouldn't fall into the lava. Kill this guy. Get some coons. And I recommend starting to get some coins up on here. Because you can get the uh, wing cap, which will help you a ton. Wing cap's probably uh, very the most important, important part of this mission. Because as I said in mission 3, the wing cap just helps this level so much. And crap. Wait, we can go through the platform from the bottom? Nobody told me that. Also, I got a game over, so welcome to game over. Yeah, so basically I'll meet you back into the volcano. Okay, I'm back to where I was, and I have something to address to you guys. If this is in called inside the volcano, because we are inside a volcano, why would there be other volcanoes inside the camp? volcano and even more oddly why wouldn't there why is there actual sky you can see in the back ground and smoke and stuff when we are inside a volcano and it should be rocky walls and uh, Nintendo logic or more like whoever made this game logic I can't I can't recall I mean the username at the moment I'm pretty sure it explains it in the description below on in the download link so yeah and I do recommend downloading this game because it actually is really fun. I don't think this let's play is even doing justice to how fun this game is. It's just amazing. You have no idea. And that red coin isn't properly centered. The only flaw it has is the uh, uh, spelling mistakes and some glitches. But, you know, it's a fan-made ROM hack. It isn't perfect. It can't be as good and as slick and as clean as... for as first party Nintendo titles. Like, one person worked on this game modifying Super Mario 64. Imagine how many people worked on freaking Super Mario 64 as a game itself. Of course they didn't have the engine and a game to modify it from, but still. Anyways, right here I'm gonna go back to try to get the other, uh, wing cap. And I actually guess, um, you know how I said you had to pretty much burn your bum? You had to? Well, I forgot that there's a freaking red coin on the platform. We're about to just jump on the next big platform, so... My mistake. You can just get it from there if you don't feel comfortable burning your butt. So, yes. Anyways, we're about to get the 100 coin star here. I'm really surprised how fast this happened. Um, I thought that was an hunter control for a second, but it isn't. It's the, um, red coin star. And you could get the wing cap from right here if you wanted to. In the third mission and this mission. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I am really surprised how fast this went. And in the next episode, we are going to head off to... Finally, we're gonna head off to the outside city area. See you guys then.